President Muhammad Bari and on December 11th embarked on a seven-day private visit to Daura and was billed to return to work on December 18th, 2020. President Muhammad Buhari has yet to return to the presidential villa 11 days after he left Abuja for Daura Castina City, his hometown, for a week-long private visit. The president on 11 December embarked on a seven-day private visit to Daura and was to return to work 18th of December 2020. President Buhari is in Daura Castina City for a week-long private visit. The aircraft carrying the presidents from Abuja landed at 4.45 p.m. on Friday at the Umaru Musaya Radwa International Airport in Kassina, where he was received by the governor, Amino Belu Masari, his deputy, Mana Yakubu, senior government officials and the heads of security agencies in the states. In Daras, to receive President Wari at the helipad where the emir, his Highness Alaji Umar Farouk Umar, leading the members of the Emirates Council and a parade of colorful horse riders and courtiers. Why in Daura President Wari will carry out a number of private engagements but is expected to participate virtually in the meeting of the Federal Executive Council on Wednesday to be presided over the Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibaju, SAN. The president last visited his hometown in December 2019, having stayed away largely due to the global COVID-19 situation, Gaba Shew, presidential spokesman, has said in a statement. But 11 days after, Sarah reporters gathered that the president has yet to return to the seat of power, with his media is not saying anything about the extension. Nigeria First Lady Aisha Buhari had been in Dubai, United Arab Emirates since September after the wedding of her daughter, Hanan. Sarah reporter also gathered that the first lady was not in a hurry to return home after spending over three months, as she reportedly stated that the Asu Rock Villa was not secure for her family. A top source to the newspaper that Aisha has now relocated quietly to the UAE. Well, uh, some people will be saying, ah, what is the problem of Nigerians? What is the problem of Nigerians? Because the man is a public, is a public figure. He's the number one. So anybody who is a private person, of course, you don't have business with a governance or you want to be uh, head of a, any of the parastata, let alone the government, the, gov the president of a state. <laughs> people who are always saying that, uh, what is Nigerians' problem? It, that is it. You, that nobody knows you. Who is going to ask of you? Nobody's going to ask of you. Nobody cares. Nobody even knows that you are there. But when you have 200 million people, do you know what it means? It's just like a, a, a father in the house. People will not be asking, where is the man? Where is the man? They will not say, I leave him alone. Ah, it's not done. If you are a private person, definitely you just have to stay back and don't even come to the public because you don't have business. You have to be private and that is it. And that's why you see that some people, they talk about, uh, you know, trying to bring out their private life. They will tell you, I've never announced my private life and I don't, you want to discuss anything about it. I'm not even a public figure, so you don't even have the right to do that. But in as much you are the leader of a country, even a local government chairman, uh, people will talk. Every of your move will be monitored, and that is how it ought to be because it's the servants of the people. Your servants must always be around. But the way it's been done, they've turned it around, and these people have become demigods. They become uh, high and mighty. But that being said, of course, according it was the same Gaba that told us that he went. He has gone to the village or to his hometown to spend so, so, so amount of days and he will be back. And so if something, nobody asked him, he, he came out to say it. So if anything changes, he should have come back, come out to say, this is it, this is it, this is it. Maybe the president, because of the situation that happened, he had to es um, extend uh, his visit because of this insecurity of a thing. Maybe that is what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Bennett, let's give him benefits of the doubt. It could be, but irrespective of that, as a government, a, a public a official, definitely you just have to relate it back to the people. Let the people be aware of your movement. You said this is part of integrity. Everything must be followed according to what you portray and you tell the people. So 11 days after, uh, after instead of five days or seven days, whichever, we, they are not saying anything. Of course, Nigerians will still be looking and people will still be talking. As for his wife, 
it's it's Bafus one that you just leave your husband. You know, people from that region will always believe that a uh, and that is the common knowledge. Majority of them, it is a common knowledge that is normal. They marry many wives. But in the case of Bari, Bari does not have many wives. Let's put it the way it is. He does not have many wives. And this woman is always is in the habit of going out, leaving the man how many months, how many whatever. Even while he was sick, that first time when he was sick, when he stayed for a very long time. This woman came back to Nigeria and the man was just there. I don't know why. But now the man is not sick. At the end of the day, he's, she's always moving. Going three months, four months like that with without the man. You know, you just be wondering. I didn't believe he has a, another wife. Would have thought, yes, maybe, of course, other women, other women will be taking care of him. But nobody as old as the man is. Ah, there's something really wrong somewhere. Well, it's a sense, a um, signal that something is really wrong somewhere. And from the source, from what we've had, that the woman said that place is not conducive for him or for her, rather. And it's been it's been a week now or more than a week when this uh, statement came out and she has not come out to debunk it she's hearing everything of course she's she's in dubai she hears every everything that is being talked about her she would have come out and said no 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 that is not the situation of things and she just kept home you know it assumes that uh, yes the source quoted her right well we still keep our finger crossed but in my opinion let's just um give the president a benefit of the doubt that because of the insecurity whatsoever, maybe that is why he's staying back. But if even at that, he ought to have, the aid would have come and tell us, since he informed Nigerians of his going there and how many days he's going to be stay, stay, staying there. Um, let's see how it goes. The headache of that office is too much for him. He would have run away if not for pride, political job as and money is getting. He is just biding Okay, just uh, buying his time for four years to elapse. Hence, he doesn't care if Nigeria bonds or not. And his continued stay away doesn't take anything away. His people were the ones running the show. So if he is there or not, it doesn't matter. Leave Wari alone and let him stay permanently with his cows in Daura. When he was in Abuja, he did nothing. Therefore, nobody misses him. Have you not heard? Dara is the next level capital of a Nigeria. And we and we are here shouting insecurity. Why the chief security himself is running for his life? Who then is safe in this country? We all need to pray for this country. Difficult country. We are in dilemma and we don't know. Now they know if you like, make you stay there or if you like, make you come back. Now they know, hmm, maybe they know, something must be, people must hear something. But the person in that uh, picture is not a boo-boo. Aisha Bwari is in Dubai for the past two, three months because of insecurity in Asso Rock. According to her, the also, or they also took to his, he also took to his E for same reason. Now, wow, he has the right to annual leave. Let him be, please. So guys, let's hear your opinion and let's know your thoughts.